What's up everyone, it's Magic here and this is my fake Taylor Jackson here. Uh, what I want to show you today is the new update for Lightroom, which is insane actually. It's amazing. It's even better than the previous one. The previous one gave us the ability to copy and paste masks. This is even next level. So let's just jump right into it. I prepared a couple of photos. Uh, so in this update, first of all, you'll get the notification that you have to upgrade your catalog. So that needs to happen. But you just click upgrade, it just blah, 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 it takes like a couple seconds and you have like a new version of your catalog. And now there are two features that I'm going to show you. First one is like the kind of simple one. It was in Photoshop, it wasn't in Lightroom. So whenever you use like a healing brush tool, now you have option to use the mode content aware. So known from Photoshop and you can just, you know, remove uh, people much easier than it did before because it just uses some, you know, super intelligent technology to just combine a new uh, grass for us here. So that's what we did here. Look how easy it was. Did you like it? Wow. He likes it. Now I'm going to apply my preset. You can purchase down below, obviously. And then I'm going to just slightly edit this photo and I'm going to show you my favorite part of the new update. Something that I was personally kind of looking for. I didn't know it can happen, but it did. So let's say that's my photo. And I can see that some of the guys, like this guy here on the right top, top down here, this is Eddie, actually my groom from 2016, um, is slightly darker than the rest of the people. So look at this now. Now in the selection tool, uh, it, like selection, it used to be only select subject and select sky. Now it adds select, select background, which is nice. You can just darken the background or like color the background very easily. But now it also gives you this people thing. Look at this. Can you see this? And when you just hover off a person one, person two, person five, I wish it known names of these people. That would be very convenient, but it does not. So then we have person, person 12. That's Eddie. Person 12, detecting person. And you can not only detect entire person as it did right here, you can just detect specific parts of it. I'm going to show you how useful is this in a second. Now we're just going to brighten the whole Eddie thing. So I'm going to create mask. Now we have mask on Eddie. Bam, Eddie is brighter. I'm going to show you before and after. Very nice. Did you like it? I love it. See, Taylor loves it. Another one. So let's look at this photo. Very often I find myself editing images in black and white. So I'm going to just apply my black and white thing. And I like keeping things like on a darker end, but then using a highlight tool to just bring their faces up. But the problem is with wedding photos that if you use highlight slider and just move it up, it not only will apply it to the faces, but also to the, uh, the dress, which is also white and also like the shirt and stuff. So if I would do something like this, the whole dress is just too bright. So I just need to need it to create like individual mask, like brush this out. Now I don't have to do it. I can just keep it here on the lower end. So I'm going to keep the highlights on the level that retains the details on the dress. That's what I'm doing here. Then I'm clicking select. I'm going to select uh, faces again. So people, person one, but now I'm going to add person two. So we have two person, continue and look at this. Now I can just do face skin and a body skin only. You see only this and this. Uh, you can also create four separate masks out of it. So his face, his skin, her face, his, her skin. Uh, but you, like I won't do that. I'm just going to keep one mask like this. And now I can just move highlights on this. Bam. Beautiful. You like it? I love it. He loves it. One more useful thing here. Uh, maybe this one. Let's look at this one. Uh, this one, I actually had to do this in the actual edit. This is a photo from the recent five minute challenge. Make sure you watch that video. It's awesome. Um, so when I convert it to black and white and I want to do my thing. So again, make it dark and make like the highlights up so their faces are brighter. You see what happened with the color here and the, the, the shirt? The shirt is fine, but the color is just like way too much. So in the original edit, I actually brushed this out manually. Now I don't have to. Look at this. I'm going to keep it on the level that I'm happy with the brightness of the color. I'm going to click here, select person one, select person two, two person, face skin, body skin, create mask, highlights up. Bam. You like it, Taylor? I love it.
And the last but not least uh, useful way of using this would be, so let me apply the preset first. Again, you can purchase down below. Um, make it slightly warmer, slightly brighter. Maybe play around with the, well, it's almost perfect actually. I shot it almost perfect. What you can do here, first of all, let's just see the background thing. So we can just select background very easily. Previously you had to do a go select subject, invert, and then you would have a background. Now you just can click select background. So that's nice. I can just put the highlights slightly down to make like just a tiny change that would not affect the whole, you know, vibe of the image. I feel that it is now better. Look before, after, slight change. But what I want to show you is that um, now look at this. So Groom has this kind of like aftershave rash here on his neck, which is inconvenient. So what I can do now is I can go again, create new mask because I already have one and I'm going to use select people. I'm going to select Mr. Groom and I'm going to use his face skin. I think face skin should be enough. I'm going to create a mask and then I'm going to take the texture down only on his face, uh, which will look very good. I'll show you. I'm just going to take texture and clarity. Let's just zoom in so we can see. If I would previously do this with like a full subject, it would be too much. It like everything would look like out like so sort of blurry. Now, if I'm just doing it to his not full face, but just a skin, I'm not applying this to his eyes, eyebrows and lips and all that stuff, only to his skin. Uh, so look at this, bam. Slight less this, slight less of a clarity before, after, before, after. How awesome is that? There's probably tons more like things that you can do with this, but for wedding photographers, I think this change is a game changer. Um, Taylor likes it. I love it. Uh, make sure you update your Lightroom. It's awesome. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Wow.